Okay, I have here the bottle that we use in the flow experiment. Now I'm going to get up too close here and see what the video actually looks like. Yeah, you see a dark line here, and you see another one here. And you see another one, keep going out of the picture here, another one down here. And there's uh, a couple smaller lines down here. And down at the bottom, turn it this way, there's a spout that water can come out of. So what we're going to do is uh, this bottle is going to be filled with water. And you're going to see a video of this. The video was actually taken at the college actually a couple of years ago. Um, and the water is going to go out the top and then we're going to let it flow down. And it's going to flow down to the point where it's even with this first line. And you're going to pause the video, make sure the water's right on the line, whatever, however you interpret that. And you're going to write down the time that's given on the video. If it's a minute, 57 seconds, that's what you write down. Now we're going to convert all these times to seconds in a way that we'll specify. But you don't do that. You don't do any arithmetic when you're observing something. You don't do any calculation. You don't do any interpretation. You write down what you see, which would be some number of minutes, some number of seconds. Then you write down the time when it reaches the second. Uh, and, and it should be at the same position relative to the second as it was relative to the first. Now I'll tell you in the video, you won't even see this second line until the water gets very close to it because of glare. The others I think are pretty clear and you'll certainly see it once the water gets to it anyway. So the water comes down to here, you put, record it, when it gets here you record it. You can see this last little dot, you record that. And then you record when the water stops flowing and starts just uh, dripping. You record that time because at that time we say that the water level is even with the um, with the tube. Now, you know, I brought home a meter stick and I don't have it, but I'm going to make measurements and I'll put those into an email and I'm going to measure uh, from here up to this mark, from here up to this mark, from here up to this mark. So we know the levels of these marks. I think this one's at about 147 centimeters, maybe this is at 94, something like that. We've measured them before, uh, but 147 millimeters, not centimeters. Uh, but you, you'll have those measurements, so you'll be able to graph where the water is versus the time. And we're going to then deal with that graph.